Are you nervous to start a PDF sewing pattern? Here are 10 questions we hear all the time, and our answers might help you get sewing faster with more options and lots of sewing support. Hi friends, Tessa here. I work in the PDF sewing world with my sister, Love Notions owner and head designer, Tammy. Now, about four years ago, I had no idea what a PDF pattern was, let alone how to use one. I didn't even know how to sew, <laughs> but digital patterns have become a huge part of my life and have made my journey into sewing way more accessible and honestly more enjoyable. So keep watching this video if you are ready to learn more. Now, maybe you are already a PDF expert. And if that's the case, then stay tuned for today's feature pattern. It's actually never been featured before and I am so excited to share it with you. And if you have a friend or would-be sewist in your life that just needs a little bit more info on this whole digital pattern process, then send this video over to them so that they can see what all the fuss is about when it comes to PDF pattern sewing. Okay, before we break into those FAQs, you need to know that Arlington Sweater is on Feature Friday sale today. Every Friday, we pick one pattern from our collection to give a special price and to give a little up close and personal attention to. Arlington was actually just released last year around this time, and it's the perfect piece for fall and as we transition to cooler weather. Turtleneck, mock neck, cowl neck, all those unique necklines will help you feel elegant for the season. Wear it under a vest or a sweater, make a dress with statement sleeves, or create a festive top for the holiday. Also, Today's new blog at lovenotions.com will help you make even more options in your wardrobe with this versatile piece. Head over there after this video to get some batch sewing tips, some ideas for fabric, and lots of Arlington inspiration. There are actually lots of ways to enjoy this pattern, and if you're looking for some more fun hacks, check out the scoop neckband modification or the amazing sweater vest hack with side ties. I've linked them all up in the description box below, along with the pattern. Now, let's get into those 10 commonly asked questions about PDF sewing patterns. Number one, what in the world is a PDF sewing pattern? A PDF sewing pattern is simply a digital version of a pattern. It's not a physical item. Designers, like Love Notions, allow their customers to access their purchase patterns online, download them, and then print or project them so that they can use the patterns to create their sewing projects. As opposed to tissue paper or paper patterns, I think instant download, infinite use digital patterns have made sewing accessible to so many more people. We live in a digital world, and so it makes sense that we use digital patterns. The second most frequently asked question is, do I need any special tools or programs to make these digital patterns work? The short answer here is yes, but they're free or super cheap. There are tons of benefits to a digital PDF sewing pattern, but one thing you might not realize is that you do have to use a special program to print them at home. Adobe Acrobat Reader is a free, easy to use program that you can download for free on the Adobe website, and then you will be able to pull your patterns up on that program, and it makes sure that they're printed just right. What will happen if you skip this step? Well, you, if you just directly print from your desktop, it's possible that you might not get a printed page that is exactly as it's designed. And that can make your sewing experience super frustrating or even a total disaster. As far as other tools, you will want a reliable printer. We really like this black and white laser printer, um, some tape or glue, and maybe some scissors or a paper rotary cutter. Now, how do you get to the pattern? If you look in your Love Notions account, you'll see all of your purchases for patterns. 
Each pattern has three links that you can download, and they're the different types of formats for the pattern. They all get to you um, to the same place, but the three completely different ways mean that you can do whatever works for you best. So here are the three pattern formats for a PDF digital sewing pattern. Number one, a large format print. I'm gonna show you a picture of what a large format print looks like. And this basically is a large piece of paper that has all of the pattern pieces placed on this big giant canvas and it's ready for you to cut out or trace. Secondly, Love Notions offers projector files. These are included with every pattern at Love Notions. This is a digital file that you keep on your computer and when it's paired up with a projector, you can directly display your pattern pieces onto your fabric. No printing or paper required. I'll put the link to the Projectors for Sewing group in the description box. And this is a really helpful place where you can get the help you need to decide if projector sewing is right for you. And then lastly, the most common way to get a PDF pattern into use is to simply download it on your free Acrobat Reader program and then print it at your at-home printer. Then you assemble the pages and voila, you're ready to go. Now, another frequently asked question is this. We see it a lot on the Love Notions Pattern Support Group, which is our private group that's focused on answering every question that you could ever have about sewing and Love Notions patterns. And if you're not there, you really should join it. So here's the question we get a lot. People will make a post that says, ah, there are like 100 pages. Do I really have to print them all? And the answer to that is no. First of all, a pattern, um, at least the first 20 pages of the it are a tutorial. And most people keep that in just the digital form and they just use it from their phone or their iPad or their computer. Also, when it comes to printing out pattern pages, the beautiful thing about PDF patterns means that you only have to print out the options, the sizes, and the exact pieces that you absolutely need. There is a print chart at the beginning of every pattern which labels which pages need to be printed. So you probably are only printing 25 to 30 pages and those pages are just exactly what you need. Another question we get a lot is how do I assemble a PDF pattern? It's easy. You simply line up and overlap the pages and then tape or glue. You use the layout chart at the beginning of the tutorial to see which pages go where. This is a really helpful spot to be um, in the pattern. Another really common question that we get is, where are the instructions? Especially if someone is printing the large format or using the projector file, just keep in mind that the print at home file, the first 20 pages or so are always gonna be the tutorial. Another really common question that we get is how do I know if I printed this PDF sewing pattern correctly? And the answer to that is that every single pattern has a test square. On the print at home files, it's a one inch square. On the um, large format files, it's a four inch square. And when you print that out, you measure it against your ruler and make sure that everything's calibrated just. Another question we get is can I share, sell, or give away the pattern files? And the answer to that is no. These are intellectual property. Digital copyright rules are pretty strict. You cannot just share out these files. Um, be careful with how you distribute these and make sure that if you've purchased it, you use it, but it, you're not supposed to share it with other people. However, if you are a small custom clothing boutique or you sew things for other people, you're more than welcome to use Love Notions patterns to set up your shop. We would just ask that you give credit to those in like the product listing. Another question that we hear sometimes is, what is the benefit of a PDF sewing pattern, especially versus a tissue paper pattern? Like why not just use a tissue paper pattern or another kind of paper pattern that's already put together for you. There's lots of reasons why I think digital sewing patterns are pretty great, and here's a few of them. One, you can download, print, and use these patterns 
over and over and over and over again. Tissue paper patterns can fall apart. Um, once you cut out one portion, it kind of makes the rest of them get kind of ruined. Um, and that's kind of frustrating to have to purchase it over again, or basically it's just lost to you. Digital patterns can be used over and over again. Another thing about digital sewing patterns is that you can print just your size. If you go to the layers um, tab on Adobe Acrobat, you can click out and just print your size so you don't have a mess of lines to look at. Another reason why I think PDF patterns are pretty great is that instant gratification. You see a pattern you like, you purchase it, you download it, and you can get sewing in like 30 minutes. Another reason I think dig digital patterns are pretty great is because there's so many options. Digital patterns really open up a whole new world of possibilities with your sewing. You can find almost any type of garment that you'd ever need or want in the digital sewing pattern community. Sometimes we see this question, and that is, how do I cut out my fabric using a digital pattern that's been printed? Do you have to like pin it and then cut? And the answer to that is most people use pattern weights to just lay their pattern piece on top of the fabric and then um, cut around it with a rotary cutter um, instead of having to like pin the pattern pieces onto the fabric. So it really can make it a lot faster. For me, most of the time, I just hold the pattern piece onto the fabric and then use my rotary cutter to cut around it. So there's no need to pin onto the fabric and that just takes away one other uh, time consuming step. And then lastly, a common question that we get at Love Notions when it comes to digital patterns is, how do you know if there's been any, any updates or changes since that pattern was first created or that since you purchased it? This is another appealing part of digital sewing patterns in that we can add sizes, we can add options, put add-ons onto the um, actual document itself. And at Love Notions, every time we make an update, um, you get that for free. So you can just re-download to get all those extra bells and whistles. Um, we also have a pretty strong track record of pretty consistently updating our pattern. So you might have bought a pattern years ago and there's a chance that we're gonna come back to it and put on even more features. Tammy's gone into all the patterns and added projector files. She's added sizing to almost every pattern. Um, so with Love Notions, you're always gonna get those updates for free. And if you wanna check and see if there's been any changes between the version you currently have and the version that's on the website right now, you can check the errata tab that's on the product listing, and that'll tell you if there's just been any changes whatsoever to the pattern itself. This ability to update is certainly something that you can't do with paper patterns. They're already printed, and once you've got them, you're kind of stuck with them as is, no matter what. So that's it. These are some common FAQs for digital sewing patterns. If I missed anything, will you let me know in the comments? No matter what, I hope that you find a sewing style that works for you. Make sure to pick up Arlington Sweater today. And if you're so inclined, it is the perfect newbie sewing pattern. It's full of options and it's a quick and easy sew.